Hello everyone, today I would like to explain heat exchanger experiment for both double pipe heat exchanger and Shellan tube heat exchanger. So first of all I will start with a counter flow double pipe heat exchanger. The heat exchanger device consists of hot water tank behind the device include the level controller and also control valve to control the uh, water inlet to the tank also we have uh, several thermometer which is uh, connected to the double pipe heat exchanger for different positions first of all I would like to uh, show how the device is working and the experiment steps. First of all, we have to switch on the device. For the hot part, we have a monitor to uh, show the data of temperature and the flow. Also, we have a water temperature controller for the hot part. Also, we have uh, level for water tank and to drain the water also from here. So the heater we can switch on from here and switch off. So for this experiment, we have to switch on. So uh, automatically it will be uh, shut down at the 70 degree. So also we have to switch on the water pump only for hot water the water pump is behind the device circulating the hot water to the tank and also to the double pipe exchanger we can control the hot water from here as you can see I can change the flow to 3 liters per minute. Yeah. For cold part, also uh, the monitor shows us the temperature in different zones and the flow meter. The cold water provided from the tap directly. That's the inlet, cold water supply here, and exit from here. Or return, and it will be directly drained out. As I explained before, this connect is parallel is counter flow so for the counter flow the hot water enters from here and exit from here enter and then exit out for the cold water enter from the here and out from here That's counter flow with changer. You can change the direction to parallel. Only you can change the cold water flow. First of all, you have to close the cold water supply and then remove the stream then open the cold flow 
maximum, to maximum, which is 2 point, I think 2.2, 2.2 point two, two two liter per minute. After 10 minutes, this device will get steady state and then we can collect the data from two monitors. To find out the heat exchanger efficiency and also heat transfer coefficient for this type of experiment. Have a nice day, goodbye.